Hello, everyone. Uh, OK, so we're going to do, we try to, get, to have some fun here with this, yeah. right? So um, I want to ask a question. So um, I'm, I'm going to ask you about your position, if you're a customer success manager, a director, or a VP level. So just hands up. Who is a customer success manager? OK, OK, OK. Who's a director? Nice, in the front. Nice. You guys listen. Uh, VP level? Any VPs here? Oh, a few. Chief customer officers? One. Wait, wait, again, again. Chief customer officers. Hands up. One, two. That's it. You guys don't have to listen. No, I'm joking. OK, so um, this is for you, not for your company, not for anyone else. This is teaching you what I took me, I don't know, five years to figure out is how to become a chief customer officer and, and talk the talk that you're expected to talk as a chief customer officer, not a, a VP, to earn your seat in the management uh, you know, table. And a significant one. By the way, I think that we're underestimating the importance of the chief customer officer's role today. It's positioned below the chief revenue officer, below the chief financial officer, and I don't think it should be. So what we're going to do is a little bit of fun. We are going to simulate me as a chief customer officer asking the CEO, Jamie's going to be the CEO of the company for uh, next year's budget. Okay, so we're going to do two scenarios, see how it goes. Um, so that's what I want you to think about. You're going to be an officer. Okay, so here's the, uh, the scenario. It's 15 of September in 2018. We're going to meet about the 2019 budget plan. And just remember that it's, our company is growing from like 50 to 65 uh, million, so it's about 30% growth year over year. And currently, my budget is $3 million. Okay, sounds good. Scenario number one. So the thing is that I need to see the screen, but I, I think you can write down. Oh, yeah. oh my God. There you go. I'm always problem solving. I'm a chief solving. customer officer. Uh, okay, so hey, Jamie, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good. Um, I, I wanted to talk to you about the 2019 budget. Uh, I was thinking about it a lot, and you know, we really need a more budget. So, so let me let me try to explain. So, you know, our NPS went up. It's great. We're doing amazing. It's 65, and um, you know that our renewal rate went from 88 percent to 90 percent, right? So improved like two points. Yeah, nice to see. Yes, yes. So we're doing great. And and uh, look, the the post implementation CSAT is phenomenal. Uh, you know that we've implemented a new system. I won't say which one. Um, and it's it's ninety five percent, and it's great. Um, but Tal, you yes. know, you know, I don't really like those subjective measures. You know, I really hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. So um, we've implemented the system, and it's it's great. Content management mm -hmm. and the methodology really improved this year. Uh, we've, we've invested so much in it. And, and the last thing I really want to uh, tell you is that our systems are working so hard. You know, uh, you know it's just that most of them are, are really uh, at the risk of leaving. So, so, so here's, hear me out. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, so 2019, you know the company is growing 30%. So I was thinking maybe you know, the same kind of budget of 30%, because what I want to do with it is, is really increase CSM uh, coverage. We, we're not covering the entire customer portfolio, and we, we want to invest in customer success ops. It's really kind of iffy today. And um, we've been talking to the partner uh, team to, to do some partner certification program. So, so that's what I was thinking, about 30%, the same kind of the growth ratio for 2018. So what do you say? I, I just don't see it. I really can't do it. I mean, I really need that money for other things. I think the best I could possibly give you is 20. Really? Yeah. Come on, Jamie, please. Yeah, I just don't see it. I, I need something a bit more objective, you know? I got something I can hang my head on. I, you know, I've got a job to do here, too. OK, scenario number one, got it. <laughs> Not chief customer officer. OK, scenario number two. I, I need to kind of get into the role here. OK, okay. so hey, hey, Jamie, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you, Tal. So uh, as we said, we're going to talk about 2019 budget, right? So I, I brought a couple of, uh, of slides here. So I want to talk about three things. One is what we've done in pre-sale and how okay. we're impacting pre-sale. Then how we're you know, impacting the, the business on the success part. And the third part is how we're going to be more efficient and do more with less. Uh, let's start with pre-sale. What we did this year is we doubled our 75% pipeline 
engagement. So those are the deals we're getting introduced before we close the deal. And we did some uh, analysis. So we went from 60 deals to 20 deals that we, we got involved. Every time we got involved, we were at 30% conversion rate versus the 25%, which means eight, 18 more deals that, that we, we helped close. And with an ARPA of 100K, that's a direct impact of 1.8 just for growth. Yeah, right? that's great. Yeah. Second thing about success is what we've done is we've increased our net renewal rate from 95%. I think that's the biggest one, right? So we've increased our just base uh, churn rate by, by five points. That's not the big thing. The big thing is increasing it by 20% of expansion, which uh, we'll, we can talk about more later. And so the total customer success impact is today at 50 million, million and our, as you know, our budget is three. And um, pause, I'm freeze. Um, I want to tell you, this is how you calculate the impact of customer success. You need to ask yourself, what will happen if they fire all of you tomorrow? What will happen to the company? Here's the uh, rule of thumb. 10% churn rate and all of the expansion that you're generating. Take all of that, compare that to what you guys cost as a customer success organization, hopefully you'll be at a plus. If you're not, you're in trouble, okay? So those are the kind of the, the benchmarks, play okay. button. Um, so the impact, the, the total company, um, sorry, uh, what I did with the finance I went and we've calculated uh, what it will mean to be at 85% uh, if we were not here okay. versus the 115 we are at, at mm -hmm. uh, right now at, and the valuation impact is 85 million. And another thing we did, you know how you always talk about uh, the path to a $100 million company? I do, I do. Which mm -hmm. I admire. So with this, we're at eight, 28 months, and without it, we're at 60 months. Well, that's a significant difference. Yeah. 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 Really, really like to see this. This is great work. Exactly. So this is what we're doing. In, in, and so how are we going to do more with less? Mm -hmm. So um, we grew our ARR per CSM uh, ratio by 15% from 4.35 to 5 million. Okay. Um, and you know that we tried more. We really tried to kind of load our CSMs with more, and we saw some negative impact. So I think it should be around the 5 million okay. if you want to be effective. And uh, I've done the ROI per CSM to see our you know, cost unit and our, our efficiency. So loaded cost 235 versus 1.5 gain per CSM. So honestly, we're profitable per CSM. 30% um, net renewal rate impact on a 5 million is 1.5. Yeah. Um, and so here's, here's 2019, here's what I'm asking. So <clears throat> the company is growing 30. I want to grow 25%. And the way we're going to do it is that on the top part, because we're going up market, that allows us to go over five million for the enterprise uh, strategic customer success manager. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping about 5.5, sorry, 7.5 million that will take the, the average up uh, over. Now, here's the thing. I'm asking for 25% more, but here's why. First, I've talked to the partner organization, and we're going to create a certification program that we're going to manage and the uh, estimation is $10 million in partner-led deals expansion next year. Not expansion, but new sales and expansion. So it's $5 million from, from uh, uh, services and $5 million new ARR. I'm going to assume that number together with my partner who runs partner. Okay, um, great to see that. Yeah, so that's what we're committing to. I want to build a uh, customer success data analytics team, and I'll explain why. I believe that if we do more regression testing and really uh, understand what's going on with the customers that are more likely to expand and understand who they are, we can increase our net renewal rate by 5% more. And I'll, I'll, I'll share one more thing in the next slide. So all in all, I know that I'm asking for a lot. It's 50% more, but we're going to great, create a new impact of $18 million. So let me, one more kind of thought. Total, by the way, total uh, impact, if you take everything that we're doing today, like I said, pre-sale, net renewal rate impact and partner is going to be 30 million, and we're asking for 4.5. 4 Last thing I want to show you is that initial, our initial thinking, pause button. Um, this is a model that we've built in MuleSoft for next year. Already we're seeing the impact on much higher expansion rate, which is really what you want to focus on, expansion rate. You cannot deal with churn too much. 5%, 10%, how much, how much can you get to, right? what you can really do is increase your expansion. So think about it this way. Instead of giving it like big customers, medium customers, small customers, which is how we segment customers today, think about it this way. What if we take the y-axis and we calculate the ARR potential of a customer? So if we have a 
kind of medium-sized company that bought a lot from us. Today, we're, they're big customers for us, right? But they don't present a lot of, uh, represent a lot of potential, so not sure they should be in the top of the list. I would rather have my top CSM deal with a big company that bought little and has a lot of room to grow. So I organize my customers by the ARR potential, not their current ARR. On the x-axis, I ask the CSM team, but I also run a lot of regression to see who's more likely to grow. Are they ready to grow? Is there potential? Or they're eh, not, not a big chance for them growing. And then you get a three by three ma matrix. If you look at it this way, it's the ones that grow, the one that we really need to increase the add-on likelihood, and the one that we want to retain. But the segmentation goes diagonally. I want every portfolio to have the tough ones that are going to be hard to grow and the easy ones that are ready to grow. So I want to give every CSM the potential to achieve their net renewal rate um, you know, uh, potential. So this is, this is a, a model that I think works. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to have a session, like a, a much longer session, that I'm going to go into the detail of that. So if you're interested, it's 1.15, 1, 1 I 1 think. 1.15 1 15 15 tomorrow. tomorrow. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, play button. So, you know, I'm asking for 50%, but, you know, I've built this ROI. I think it's going to be great. We're already seeing the uh, impact of this model. And, and um, you know, it requires some more kind of foundation, like a customer success uh, data team and mm -hmm. a little bit more ops. So what do you say? Well, I think it's a huge ask. Um, but at the same time, I'm really delighted to see all the things you're signing up for, the particularly the $10 million in additional yep. revenue, yep. bringing us well on our way to our goals. So. I'm up for it, okay? Perfect. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. So maybe uh, I've got three minutes, so I'll, I'll just wrap up. Okay. Um, there's one thing that is, there is an assumption in everything that I say is that you agree that customer success needs to be growth-oriented and not just success-oriented. And this is a big, big thing. I used to think, I'm, I'm not sales. Don't, don't even you know, talk to me about sales. But I grew up, and I matured. Because success is not an end in itself. It's all, all, everything that you do is for growth, right? So get that and mature. If you want to be a chief customer officer, talk about growth. Talk about EBITDA. Talk about the, the, the net renewal rate. This is what the board cares about, right? The, the, I, I think the reason why I said that I think the chief customer officer is not getting the right positioning is that the valuation of a SaaS company with one 30% net renewal rate is five times more than one with, with 80%. Just think about the, you know, we all know the graphs, right? So um, think about net renewal rates, think about that, and accept the fact that you're a growth team. You're not a let's sustain, farm, whatever we have. It's for a reason, and the reason is growth. And Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about how do you deal with, with sales, how do you create this two-in-a-box model of the account executive and the customer success manager. So your customer success manager does not feel like you're expecting them to sell, but to really identify and push customers towards. And there's a whole different dimension about how do you price your product that allows your customer success managers to grow within an account, which is a whole different. So thank you so much. You're You've welcome. been a great CEO. And uh, that's it.